Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Saturday on this channel where we just talk about something fun and it is getting closer to Halloween so I thought we would take a look at five Halloween themed horror movies that you could watch this Halloween. So let's jump right into it. All right, everybody, it is kind of a slow news day today. The trailer for Strangers 2 has dropped, and if you haven't seen that yet, I urge you to check that trailer out. It looks pretty good. Looks like they pick up exactly where the last movie left off. And if you haven't seen the new Strangers Volume 1 that came out, a while back. I urge you to check that out as well. That is a pretty awesome film. Now today since it is a bit of a slow news day and Halloween is rapidly approaching I thought we would take a look at five horror movies that actually take place on Halloween that you may never have even heard of that you should check out. So let's jump into this with number one on our list. First up on our list is Bad Candy, a 2021 anthology film directed by Desiree Connell and Scott B. Hansen. Now, Bad Candy follows the stories and lessons learned in the small town of New Salem, and it's a pretty decent little anthology series. It kind of isn't very original as it seems to kind of be taken a little bit from All Hallows Eve with the whole Terrifier theme a little bit and then it also kind of is taking from Trick or Treat but it is interesting to watch this movie and some of the stories in it are not really all that bad. Now, the film does star Zach Galligan, and I know I probably mispronounced his name, but he is Billy from Gremlins, and that in itself is a selling point because he's done a handful of horror movies, and every single time, I personally am always glad to see him back in the horror movie genre. Because I feel that Gremlins is one of the most underrated horror movies you can watch during Christmas. And it's always fun to see him getting back into the horror movies. Next up on our list is the 2019 film Candy Corn. Candy Corn is an independent little horror film. And it stars Courtney Gaines, Pancho Miller... PJ Souls, who you might recognize from the Halloween movies and other things like that. Definitely a name you should recognize, and Tony Todd himself. The story concerns a young man tormented and killed by bullies, but resurrected by one of the local carnies who actually takes pity on him. This is sort of the vibe you get in the movie he's coming back of course it's a revenge saga and it leans into that it's interesting it's not the best film on this list but it is a lot of fun at times and anytime you have iconic actors returning into horror just like with our last movie it becomes a lot of fun that brings us to number three on our list, and number three is Tales of Halloween from 2015. Now, Tales of Halloween is an anthology film again. This is one where it has ten segments interwoven, directed by the likes of Daryl Lynn Balsaman, Neil Marshall, Axel Carolyn, Andrew Cash, Josh Skip, and Lucky McKee, just to name a few. And the movie is rather impressive because, once again, it brings in some legends of the horror movie franchises. That whole horror movie genre, you get to see a couple legends returning. And this one has Adriana Barbeau, Barbara Crampton, Lynn Shay, Barry Bostwick, and... 
the apprentice himself in Star Wars, not to mention the voice of several characters in the Star Wars franchise, Sam Witwer. Now, it also stars John Savage and Caroline Williams. So, yes, this is full of people that you should recognize. But, like I said, this has 10 stories. And these 10 stories, some of them are pretty good and some of them are not very good at all. But, it is an okay movie and it's full of stars. So, you could do worse than to watch this movie this Halloween as well. Next up is The Dark Knight of the Scarecrow from 1981. Now, The Dark Knight of the Scarecrow is an eerie TV movie about a gentle man with the mind of a child, and he is friends with a young girl. And when a dog attacks the girl, the locals blame him, especially the angry mailman, and they lead a posse and they take him out. Well... The punishment begins because on Halloween, a supernatural vengeance starts to take out the men accused of the crime. This movie is kind of fun. This movie stars Larry Drake, Charles Durning, Jocelyn Brando, and Tanya Crow. So once more, you are dealing with a movie that has several names that you will probably recognize instantaneously. And it is an interesting movie despite being slower than the rest of them. It does at times feel very much like a made-for-TV movie. But you could do worse than this little gem if you really wanted to watch something this Halloween that you haven't seen. And then that brings us to the number five movie on our spot. And the number five movie I cannot say enough good things about. It is one of my to-go-to movies every single Halloween. It is one that I've probably talked about on this channel before, but it deserves to be talked about in this list. And that is the 1988 film, Night of the Demons. Now, Night of the Demons is a really cool little film where you have the misfit girl who is throwing a Halloween party at an abandoned Halloween house that is very much rumored to be the most haunted place in town. And what ends up happening is that it lives up to its tagline, which its original tagline was, Angela is throwing a party. Jason and Freddy are too afraid to come. That's essentially what the original little tagline for this movie was. And in the movie, Angela's party goes completely awry. The kids all start turning into, well, demons. And not to give too much away, but it starts typically like you'd expect with them summoning a spirit that actually turns out to be a demon. They explain this all in the movie very well, the difference between spirits, demons, etc., etc. They really try to lean into this movie. It's campy. It's fun. It is one of those movies that you might get a lot of scares from, but then also it's going to let you kind of laugh at the absurdity of it all, too. It stars Amelia Kincaid, who has gone on to do other things, but she is really best known for her work in front of the camera in this movie. She's now behind the camera doing things. But at this particular time, she was in front of the camera and she was Angela herself. The movie spawned a couple sequels. And the sequels all kind of deal with different stories having to do with this house, having to do with Angela, of course, returning. And the movie also starred Kathy Podwell. And Kathy Podwell is perhaps best known for being one of J.R. Ewing's wives on Dallas, which is where I first saw her. I find her quite charming in this movie. She is one of the reasons to watch this movie. She comes across as really sweet and nice, probably the sweetest and nicest person in the movie. 
It also stars Lena Quigley, who, if you don't know who she is, she is one of the original Scream Queens. Having been in so many horror movies, I couldn't even begin to name them here. If I did a video with just her horror movies, it would probably be a 20 to 30 minute video, and that's just if I named them. She has been in so much, and she is always iconic. She has a brilliant part in this movie. The movie also begins and ends with a sort of wraparound that I found to be really intriguing and really fun to watch every year as well. They did have a remake of this movie that really didn't do it for me, despite having a lot of really cool stars it just really didn't live up to what this movie was. So if you're going to watch Night of the Demons, definitely make sure you are watching the original version. And I would actually even recommend the sequels as well. Now with that, I'm going to leave it off to you guys. If you've seen any of these horror movies that we've talked about today, what did you think of them? What were your favorites? Are there any movies that you would put on this list that take place during Halloween day or Halloween night that we should have had on this list or that you want me to put on another list? As always, we want to hear what you guys think. So make sure you are leaving us that comment in the comment box below letting us know what you think. Also, don't forget to share this video with all of your friends. They're going to want to be a part of this conversation as well. And then, don't forget to hit that like button. It's free, it helps the channel, and we really do appreciate it. Then, Miko says we need more subscribers. And look at this face. You don't want to disappoint Miko. So, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell while you're down there so you don't miss a single video we do. Then, friends, at the end of the day, I know it. You know it. And Miko knows it. Fandom is family.